If you're looking for ultimate team coins, then go check out ufifa.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunnar's here bringing another player review and today we are reviewing Javier Hernandez, the Mexican striker who plays for Real Madrid. Guys, if this video can get to 200 likes, that'd be amazing. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So he's now moved to Real Madrid, so of course it opens up so many options for your La Liga squads as well. Mexican squads if you want to. Closer look at him, 5'9", medium attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, right footed, free start weak foot and skill moves. Just sent me back just under 4k, 8 games, 10 goals, 9 assists, shows his worth to the team there, definitely one that you should try out. Also he's the finisher chemistry style on him as well so a closer look at his in-game stats you'll see 87 attack in position 87 acceleration as well 84 balance is key 85 sprint speed so this guy can definitely shift across the ground which is where you really want to see him moving you want your strikers to be quick and again you know you've got the finishing that's high up there heading at 82 as well and it's 75 shot power is pretty decent but we've got 88 on the finishing as well which is absolutely amazing that's where he really stands out with that finishing then you can see he's lightweight, 134 pounds, can only play as a striker. You can see the work rates and everything there again. So, you know, he's not really there in terms of that's where his highlights are, but he's a poacher and he's also got a finesse shot trait as well. So that's what you're going to get from this guy. This guy is a natural born finisher. They call him the little P, that's his nickname. But you know what? I'm going to call him a capital P because if you come up against him, he's going to be an absolute pain in the ass because he's just going to be in the right position pretty much every time. You know, when balls drop around the box and also if the ball drops to him anywhere from 25 yards out, just like I demonstrated there, he's going to be able to finish. He's got fantastic movement as well. Even though he doesn't have the perfect work rates, he's got medium to low. He's like one of these poaching players, likes to beat the offside trap. One of those kind of players, always sniffing around. So, you know, it doesn't really harm him because he's got the pace as well. And I found out that I didn't mind him not having the perfect work rates. It didn't really affect him. He was still in the right position, sniffing out the goals where you want him to be. Look at that. Ball drops in, in the right place at the right time. And that's what he's going to do for you. This guy is quick. He can finish. He, you know, he's got ability as well. Finish on, well, his weak foot is a little bit of a lottery, but not too bad. But he's not the strongest, so he is lightweight. So if you're playing like, you know, one striker up top, he might struggle a little bit. Better off using him with two if you want to get the most out of him, but definitely a player I recommend. This guy's super quick. He can shift across the ground. Great movement and positioning as well. Definitely that movement's key. He's clinical when he gets an opportunity, and he's decent with the finesse shots as well. He's got superb balance to help his dribbling as well. The things I didn't really like about him is the freestyle weak foot can be a bit of a lottery. You can't always trust it as much as you want to. And also, he's not the strongest guy there. His strength is pretty low. So that's it guys, decent player to use, cheap as well, that's the key, you definitely pick him up, try him out if you're building a Liga squad, I'd give him an 8.5 overall, and hopefully guys, you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.